Hello my fellow smug ones, I just want a quick word about the UK TV licence. Which for my American friends who might not know is a silly old and outdated TV tax that we all in the UK have to pay if we want to watch live TV. Anyway, let's begin. <laughs> Unfortunately, in the UK, the TV licence has always been around since the BBC started broadcasting because they want our money. No matter what TV channel we watch live, whether it be ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5 or any of the Sky ones, we always have to pay the BBC, which is silly really. It's like me buying a copy of the Sun newspaper, but paying the money to the Daily Mail instead. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Especially in this day and age when we don't just have live TV anymore, we have all on demand services. ITV Hub, All4, My5, Sky TV, not to mention Netflix, Amazon Prime, Now TV, and the new Disney Plus as well. With every service that gets added, the TV license seems more and more outdated. It's a ridiculous TV tax which none of us should have to pay in this day and age. The TV licence costs £13.13 and, and Netflix for the lowest package costs £5.99 and I'm sure Amazon Prime also for their lowest video package costs £5.99. Them two added up is £12 and you've still got change left over for, for Mars Bar. Or if you don't want any of those streaming services you can have loads of Mars Bars! Whee! More and more people are cancelling their TV licences not only for this reason, but also because of the BBC's lack of impartiality. They are meant to be impartial, but to be honest, it doesn't really seem it, especially with the UK Brexit vote. In early March, I decided to cancel my TV licence. It's very easy to cancel your TV licence. All you have to do is go on the TV licence website, which I will be very kind and link in the description, and fill out a no licence needed form. And that's it. If you ask me, the TV licence days are finally numbered at long last because Boris Johnson, our Prime Minister, recently said this in Parliament. When I want to watch live TV on Sky, Amazon Prime or ITV, I am forced to pay for the BBC. Does the Prime Minister believe that this is a sustainable situation in the medium or longer term? So, uh, well, uh, my, my honourable friend makes a, a very interesting uh, point, a point of view I'm sure shared by many people in this country, but uh, my right honourable friend, the Secretary of State for Culture, uh, Media and Sport, will be setting out a roadmap shortly for reform uh, of the BBC uh, and addressing the very issue that he mentions. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.